Tonight we introduce you to a big name behind the rodeo. That's right, it's Gary Don McCain and actually Carson Bush shows is speaking with him about this year's event. All right, right now I'm joined by a very important person who knows all aspects of the rodeo. It's Mr. Gary Don McCain. He is the VP of the rodeo. Gary Don, we're trying to get a, a scope of, of this rodeo, and I know a lot of people come from all over to compete in this across the country, right? Yes, sir. All across the nation. All right. How many people do we have competing? I mean, do we have an estimate on that? Uh, we've got large numbers this year. Uh, I, I could give you a list, rundown of all of them, but... Uh, we, we set record numbers last year because we were the only rodeo going on last year because of COVID. Yep, okay. Well, this year, other rodeos have opened up, you know, and so our numbers are down a little, but we've got great numbers. It's still going to be big. So, it, it, yes, we're the first rodeo of the calendar year, so everybody wants to come to Odessa. <laughs> All right, and uh, we know this is very important because it's also a qualifier for Houston. Tell me a little bit about what that means. Uh, yeah, in every event, uh, if you win the event, you are automatically entered in the Houston Rodeo. You don't have to go down there and qualify because they have qualifying rounds to make it to their final rodeo. Okay. So, uh, Cowboys want to come here. They want to win this one. That way, they don't have to go to Houston and qualify. They're already in, and that's a large rodeo. Okay, and like so. you said, with this being the first of the calendar year, it's like, hey, just come here and win, then you don't got to worry about Houston. You're, you're in. <laughs> Hey, what else can we expect? This is going until the 15th. A um, lot of fun for people to come out. Maybe, what, what else do you expect this year? Well, we've got uh, we've added some stuff back to the rodeo that uh, last year we didn't have it because of the COVID, but we have Christian Youth Night on Wednesday. Or okay. It'll be Thursday night this year, I'm sorry. Uh, so that's a big deal. It's good for the kids uh, to come up. They'll bring speakers in, and then after, uh, they'll, they'll do it in Barn G, and when they get done that night, they come over to the rodeo. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it, that's really good. We're excited to have that back. And uh, this year, we're adding breakaway roping to our rodeo. It's it's an up-and-coming event, and the ladies are loving it. So uh, we've got uh, quite, a, quite a few girls coming for that that will also uh, be entered in the barrel race also. Okay. So, you know, now the girls are getting run two events where it used to just was barrel racing. Yeah, every so, year looking to create more opportunities. Yes, and we've got large numbers in that breakaway roping this year, so we're excited about that. And we're, uh, we're moving our rodeo start date this year uh, to a Thursday. We usually start Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. and then start back the following week on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This year, we're going to move it up to a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then in Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it'll be six performances over two weeks. All right, six performances, even bigger and better this year, as always. Uh, Mr. Gary Dunn, thank you very much. The rodeo going until the 15th, as he said, six performances. going to be a lot of fun. Six performances and a lot of fun to be had. Thanks, Carson. So much happening. Now, we're going to turn this over to Bridget because I know I'm coming here this weekend with my little one. But what about for the rest of the families? How's it looking? Well, ladies, it's 